what are the rules on uh youtube about vaping on camera is that like a thing okay so what we're gonna do today uh first of all thank you guys for watching this video my name is Corey. uh i am a music producer slash uh person that likes to make music <laughs> um yeah so today we're gonna make some sort of like little spooky little spooky scary beat um we're gonna try to anyway sometimes i try to make a spooky sound and beat and it doesn't end up being too spooky so uh we're gonna use massive x as you can see um I'm just going to go through like a quick way of like how how I go about making uh, beats and songs and stuff. Okay, that's cool. I'm actually, I have, uh, I have this little uh, Akai Mini here, but I'm not going to use it. Um, I might, I might use a little bit of it, but I'm mostly just going to like click stuff in. Um, So we're going to come up with some sort of melody here. Um, I already set this up, so it's going to be in the key of D sharp minor. And um, maybe like, maybe like, maybe like 150, something like this going. Nah, let's go down. I mean, like that already, like right there could be a thing. Let's just use that. So we could do like the old, uh, the old way of doing like uh, three measures of the same thing. And then on the fourth one, the last like part of the last measure is different. So like, check this out. Like we'll just change up like some of these notes here. <coughs> Like that's sick right there, yeah, hell yeah. Just gonna throw some stuff on it. I'm gonna shut this metronome off. I'm gonna put in. Um, I'm gonna put in uh, ROM if I have it on this computer. Oh, it's right here. This is from Native Instruments. This is a pretty cool um, reverb, delay. Okay, so we got get the bass melody down, or like the like regular melody. Now we'll add some stuff to it. So I'm gonna look for like some sort of like some sort of like piano. It actually sounds kind of cool too. Make sure you change this uh, mixer track. Yeah, see, it already sounds different. I'm gonna extend the notes out. Thank you. 
that's just to give it a little more uh a little more depth to the melody to the song so i'm actually gonna put this on a whole different uh track or a whole different pattern oh what no bro go back I'm going to put some effects on that too, make it sound a little cooler. We're going to put on Kyle Beats Drip. Probably like start like a beat or something, put some drums on it. I'm trying to think of like what kind of what kind of sound of drums I'd want. Five hours later. Yeah, we're gonna use this like Pierre Bourne kit I got off Reddit. Another thing is make sure you cut all your drums so like you right click the the file name or whatever like the sampler here and then uh, cut itself cut itself cut itself because uh, that'll stop it from like overplaying the same sample and like it gets kind of like muddy sounding So usually like <clears throat> what I like to do is I, I like to try to make the hi-hats like as interesting as possible, especially if it's like almost like the same melody going on and on and like the same drum beat for the most part of like the whole song. I try to make the hi-hats stand out by doing like some cool patterns just to like have another like melody try to catch your ear or like something different. Hey guys, it's me again. <laughs> forgot to do a couple things. I'm gonna I'm gonna change up the hi hats. I forgot that I didn't finish doing that. <clears throat> so, like I was saying a little while ago, to make the hi hats a little more interesting, um, you gotta you gotta change them up. Simple as that. You gotta make them sound interesting. Like you could just have like a eighth note or a quarter note or a sixteenth note. And it's like, okay, cool. But for me, I always like to come up with like weird little patterns and stuff. So let's, oh, let me turn, turn down the. I like to add in like these little like double triplets. So like we'll even do another one. Yeah, so like, just come up with like some kind of cool pattern. I like, uh, I like to add like lower notes, have like, 
have them spaced apart a little bit differently have triplets set up you can have them the if you go higher up on the piano roll obviously it'll, it'll be a higher pitch if you go lower on the piano roll it'll be a lower pitch um straight runs like this is cool or like are cool do one of these little one of these little jams here is that right move that one over so just like sounds a lot better than just having like a regular playing all like hi-hat you know what i'm saying uncle phil uh, you want to make sure you're in the right key of the song One other thing I gotta do real quick, I just remembered or like noticed. Um, we're gonna put this envelope on. This is for the 808s, and then you turn this attack knob down so like it hits right away. Extend the hold all the way out so it plays the whole note. Take the decay down and the sustain uh, knob down, and then the release knob down, so then it's just a square wave. Um. Do like a dun dun dun. Maybe we'll do the octave. It's not necessarily like spooky per se, but the other the other thing you could do differently too to make things sound different is like post production. So that could be like and then we'll add a crash right when that hits too, or maybe like an impact type of uh type of thing. Um a slam. Yeah. They remind me of the weekend. I like this one. I'm just gonna turn it down so it's not like super overpowering. Take that back a little bit. Let me turn it up a little more. It's 
probably going to sound dumb. And maybe a crash too. I like uh, in this kit that I was talking about on that I got on Reddit. It's Pierre Bourne kit. Uh, the Lunch 77 Pierre Bourne kit. Um, they have a good crash. I like this crash a lot. This is the best crash. I don't know if it's the best one, but it certainly does its job. Yeah. All right, so now let's take a listen to that. times than not what i'll do is like i'll have like a 16 bar loop going like i'll have that i'll have like a intro like a chorus or a verse verse or like a hook type part for like 16 and then i'll make it i'll go back to like having it be quiet so then it's just like this maybe for a couple bars or something and then then like a verse could like come in right after that or something but it's like I'm only trying to make like a short little YouTube video. I'm not trying to do like a an hour long session. Um, but if you guys would be interested in a long hour session of beat making, um, I plan on doing that. Plan on um, going on Twitch or just like live streaming on YouTube, something like that. Um, but if you like this video, make sure you hit like and you hit subscribe so you don't miss more content of me making beats. I also do like vocal covers. Um, so like if you're into that type of stuff, I'm not sure if this is like the right plat, like the right channel to do so, but like I can mix like metal. Like I'm wearing like a slipknot hoodie right now. Like I can mix metal and hardcore with like making beats and stuff, but I'm not sure where that balance would be. Um, but yeah, if you ever catch me doing a live stream, I end up doing like a vocal cover of something then um then you're in for a treat it's a good time uh so thank you guys again for watching take care of yourselves bye <laughs>